I decided, like my goal is to, to wrap one present a day so that when Christmas comes, I won't feel like a crazy lady trying to get it all done. So while I was waiting for my computer to kind of wake up and you know get going for the day, I decided to wrap one of my presents. So I'm so glad that that's off my checklist. I have my coffee here. So my first meeting starts here in about four minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my headphones on and get ready for that. And then while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and just review my calendar and kind of map out my plan for the day. And I will check back in with you guys in just a few minutes. what people are trending to which is to make the user experience easier so if you know that you have two audiences who typically navigate to your website people looking for care and people looking for jobs this just facilitates the user experience so people can just quickly navigate to where they're, where they're the most interested and i think like people understand that I feel like there's a lot of meetings this morning i'm going to be in a lot of meetings this morning the only reason that i had time to like chit chat with you right now is because uh, the meeting I was in ended early, so I'm just waiting for the next meeting. It's the beginning of the month, and usually we have lots of planning that needs to happen. Um, and we just need to make sure that like everyone's on the same page and we know what we need to accomplish for each of our clients um, for the month. Hey guys, so it's 11.41, I'm just checking in. So I just got finished with the morning meetings that I had. And um, right now I'm about to transition into the home management part of my day. Um, it's my lunch break and I'm going to take an hour. And I'm going to treat this day as like my errand day, which I usually do on Friday, but I'm gonna do some errands today. I need to replace a purse that broke, I told you guys earlier, and I also wanna go to Sephora and get some makeup stuff and return some shoes since I'll already be there. So I'm going to start working on that now. The first stop was the UPS store. When I got there, I realized that it was too busy and it was gonna to take too long, so I went to Sephora next. Here I'm telling the story about how this was the fastest Sephora trip I've ever had in my life. I parked somewhere that I wasn't quite sure if it was legal for me to park. <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't know that when I parked. It was when I got out, I saw this sign that made me like question. And so since it was so hard to find even that parking spot, I just ran into the store and ran back out. And I was so convinced that I wouldn't even be able to go back to work because my car might get towed or I might get a ticket. So luckily that didn't happen. Like I was literally sweating to get back to my car. So after, I went to Sephora, I went to Target next. So at Target, my goal was to replace the purse that I have been using for at least three years. Um, I need a purse that's really small and convenient. I feel like I carry so much stuff as a mom between diaper bags, food for my kids and their food allergies, carrying their medication, carrying the children themselves. And so the strap on my old purse actually broke off and I had been trying to carry it like without a strap all week and it was just driving me crazy. So I came here to see if I could find a suitable replacement. All right, I got a purse. It's not great, but it's okay. And functionally, it's going to accomplish what I needed to accomplish. This is the one that I got. Um, I just feel like it's, you know, it's kind of boring, but I'm just tired of suffering. I probably could have found something more interesting at like Ross or TJ Maxx or whatever, but it has what I need. There's a little clip here. So usually I clip my keys right there. So that's what broke in my old purse. So I can put my keys on it. Um, it has, you know, places for me to put my cards and stuff like that. It has pockets for me to like, put you know other little things that I need and also has a pocket on the back so I was thinking even if I decide that I want to upgrade to a purse just like with the last one I can throw it in my purse if I need a purse and when I don't I can uh, 
put the straps on and it can act as, as its own purse. So my hands won't feel too bogged down when I have a lot going on. So I need to get back home and jump back into work. I'll probably like throw some food in the microwave and eat while I work. Um, so let's go do that. In this part of the video, I was walking to pick up my sons from school. Usually their grandma helps me with this, but she wasn't available today. And so I was reflecting and processing on some things that had happened at work. Basically, um, you guys know I have, I'm transitioning into a new position at my job. We're trying to really step away from focusing on tactics only when it comes to you know marketing and we're shifting into like more strategic things like branding and stuff like that and this is something that i've never done before and neither has my organization so i'm in the process of like building out this program and putting the structure in place so that i can do it and so that other people can do it after me but it's always challenging to like put yourself out there you know especially when you have like a client meeting they don't know that i'm figuring this stuff out and I just didn't feel like the meeting went the way that I envisioned in my head. So I was just trying to talk to myself and you guys, letting you know that that's okay, it's normal. I was feeling a little bit down, but I also like mentally know that that's just part of the process. You have to kind of eat dirt, if you will, that's what I tell my kids, or go through the sucky phase in order to be able to learn and to create something beautiful. So. At my job, I really feel like I'm in the sucky phase because I'm just kind of feeling my way around, but I do know that it's part of the process and it will get better with time. Um, the bus is like totally late. If I were thinking, I would have just brought a book, but um, yeah, I'm just sitting out here on the grass, chilling. So this is a little bit later on in the day me and the girls are just hanging out and I was trying on some of the makeup that I got from Sephora they gave me like a birthday gift since my birthday was like oh less than about a week ago and so we were just trying out the new lip gloss so in terms of home management I felt like this was not the most optimal day I barely pulled the strength together to get those dishes done. Then after the dishes were done, I sat down to fold some laundry, but the girls really wanted my attention and they wanted to play. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna chop it up to the game. Chop it up to the game, you know? A person can only do so much. So I do acknowledge that when I skip my routine that it just means that there will be more work for me tomorrow but it's okay I'll probably have more energy tomorrow anyway so I just played with the girls I took them to bed and as I was putting them to bed I actually fell asleep myself so this was pretty much the end of the night for me so thank you guys so much for watching vlogmas day two I will see you guys tomorrow.